Hey people, what's going on? It's Tyler, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Seth Jared Himes' digital marketing course, otherwise known as In Demand Career, uh, Engineered Truths Digital Marketing Course, and sometimes even simply as Seth's Course. Now, th now this is a purely online course that is $97 a month. Now this course claims to provide you the skills and knowledge to attain a digital marketing job after you take simply just this course. So did I end up getting a job after taking this course? Do I recommend the course? If this sounds interesting to you, leave a like, and continue watching this video. So starting off with my background, my name is Tyler, I'm 20 years old, and I'm studying information systems and marketing at the University of Illinois. Like many others, I found the course through Matt Tran of Engineer Truth. Now, I found out about the course almost a year ago, but since I found out about it while I was still taking classes and going to school, I figured that I'd wait until summer break of 2019 to actually take the course. So I was in the course from May 2019 to July 2019. So was I able to get a job? No. But do I recommend this course? Yes. Now personally, I don't blame the course for not getting me a job because I was in a very specific situation that quite frankly made it really hard for me to actually get a job. For one thing, since I was planning to return to college that August, I was really limited to only remote jobs and summer internships designed for college students. And since I took the course in May and started applying to jobs roughly in like late May to early June, most companies already stopped looking for interns for that summer and I really couldn't do much about that. On top of that, I was strictly looking for jobs uh, within a 20 minute drive from my house and I'm not 20 minutes away from the city so that severely limited my job opportunities. With that said, am I confident that I would have been able to get a job if I didn't return to school in August? Definitely. In the interviews that I did manage to land, all the employers pretty much loved me and really appreciated my work ethic, especially as a young person still going to college and, and were really impressed with the skills that I had down on my resume. On top of that, a couple people that I met from the course through LinkedIn were actually able to secure jobs and these were people that were my age. Some of them had a college degree, others didn't and since they had time on their hands and were actively looking for a job, uh, they were able to find one. Also, I was able to make my money back from the course and more from creating a website for a local landscaping company, which, which was pretty random, but it is a skill that was taught in the course. And, and I think by far it's the most underrated part of the course because as a bonus to learning about PPC, SEO, email marketing, and all this stuff, you also learn how to make a website. And a lot of people don't know how to make a website. So why do I actually recommend this course? For one thing, the course focuses on getting you a job rather than just learning some skill. So while you do learn various aspects of digital marketing, I venture to say that it is not the most important part of the course. I like to think of this course as more of a crash course or in college, like a marketing 101 kind of class designed with the bigger picture of getting you a job in digital marketing. So while it does cover topics like paid search, organic search, email marketing, analytics, it also covers areas like optimizing your resume, cover letter, um, interview prep, and freelance opportunities. Another reason why I recommend this course is because it introduced me to a growing, lucrative industry that I would have had no idea about if I didn't take this course. In 2019, digital marketing is still growing at an enormous rate. From Google ads to Facebook ads to more obscure stuff like Pinterest and Reddit ads, I believe digital marketing will become increasingly significant to every single business's marketing strategy. That was the word I was looking for. Which also means companies are seeking experts in this field in the form of creating jobs, outsourcing to agencies, which then need to hire more people to run those agencies, and even freelancers and training for existing marketers. Which leads me to the next point on why I recommend this course. And that is because this skill is not taught in mainstream education. Even at a large top 50 ranked university with a pretty good business program, I literally haven't learned a single thing about digital marketing like at all. And keep in mind, I'm literally a marketing major. 
So literally pick up this course for like $97, which is the price of a university textbook anyways, but this time you're actually learning a valuable skill. Now, how has the course changed from 2016 to 2019? Well, the course has been updated this year um, with the new Google Ads interface. And while for the most part, pretty much everything still applies, I do feel like it is harder to get a job in digital marketing, especially if you're located in a bigger city. This is because since 2016, digital marketing has become a lot more known uh, worldwide overall. Even to the point that there are literal boot camps, like you know those like coding boot camps? There are literal boot camps that are now teaching people how to get a job in digital marketing and how to learn the skills of digital marketing. With that said, that just means that you're gonna have to put a lot more hard work into, into generating experiences in order to land a job. So who do I see benefiting from this course? One, anyone who doesn't know what they want to do with their life and or wants to earn more money. College students, like period, especially if you're like in a business program. Third, anyone interested in digital marketing but doesn't know where to start. Four, college dropouts and people with no higher education. Four, college dropouts and people who decided not to go to college. And five, those who want to work remotely and want to escape the nine to five grind. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is um, what you should do after you take the course. So whether you want to listen to me or not, I mean, that's your decision, but uh, this is my two cents. So honestly, there are many routes that you can take, but uh, first I'm going to cover what you should do if you have time. And secondly, I'm going to cover what you should do if like you literally want a job like ASAP. So if you have time, you should probably be looking to generate more experience. One of the easiest ways to find experience other than like, you know, starting your own blog or whatever, is signing up for this platform called Gen M. Gen M is essentially a platform which connects students looking to get more experience in digital marketing with mentors that are basically offering unpaid internships. And I know at first it sounds awful because it's like unpaid internships, like, dude, you can't even find someone that knows how to do this. But I will say that many of these internships end up with a paid remote position after the internship is finished if you connect with the right mentor. And I mean, it's a really easy way to obtain experience like just like that because I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know if it's because like I, I'm going to like a pretty decent school or something, but I have been completely like flooded with the Gen M chat requests. So there are a ton of people out there looking for help on digital marketing. And even some mentors end up paying you through commission during your internship to incentivize better work. Next thing I recommend is to connect with people from the course through LinkedIn. Literally, I found a group of three other guys that are like around my age and we're pretty much on the same boat and seeing each other's successes really keeps everyone motivated. The last thing you should do is to continue searching YouTube for free advice on the topic. I, I can't stress enough how much good, useful information can be found for free on platforms like YouTube and like, you know, searching up Google stuff. But now, if you're interested in getting a job like ASAP, here's what I'd do. Start by applying to jobs as soon as you finish the technical part of the course. So after you learn about like email marketing, which I think is the last thing, go straight to creating a resume and cover letter, get that sorted out and start applying for jobs like, like hotcakes. At this point, you should have a decent understanding of the lingo in the digital marketing realm. And because of that, you automatically look a lot more qualified for the job. I would also still make a Genom account and just have that on the back burner and you know it's no harm in having you connect with other mentors like automatically while you're sleeping and really focus on optimizing your resume cover letter and interview skills because you if you don't have a lot of experience you're pretty much gonna have to work that much harder on selling yourself on the reason why you're qualified for the job and if you're super desperate on getting a job I'd recommend that you hop on LinkedIn or indeed Look for digital marketing jobs in like small towns in the middle of nowhere, like in Kansas. Apply for those jobs and then be willing to relocate there 
at least for like the time being until you can like get a job in the city that you desire to work for because from what I hear uh, some cities are harder to get jobs in than others so a city like San Francisco where chances are a decent amount of people know what digital marketing is the minimum expectation is probably a lot higher than like middle of nowhere Oklahoma so to wrap up if you're still watching this video now just buy the course sounds cheesy but to be completely honest um, the, the course has definitely changed my life to a certain extent and if you'd like to see more videos on the topic of digital marketing personal development and how to develop a hustle mentality from the mindset of a naive young kid hit subscribe leave a like on this video hit the bell and do all that and uh, keep on grinding